out there, out there, out there, out there, well, like you. Wait a minute. Wait. I literally took you to go get your first toy. You did. You give top. Um. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Colors. And I have my friend over here. Hey guys, it's Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm excited for this video because this is something I wanted to do for a minute. Mm -hmm. And this is something very different because I can be in my element, being myself, be relaxed, being in my PJs, and have a drink in my cup. Because you know me, I'm all about a good drink. <laughs> uh, but two, because you guys have asked me time and time again in the past that you want to see more videos of having conversations, talking about the spicy stuff, love, sex, marriage, all of the above. So that is kind of what this video is going to be about. It's going to be very casual, very relaxed, very conversational, girl chatty. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I will warn you guys, in this video, it will not be heavily edited. It will be natural, mm -hmm. just kind of go with the flow, almost kind of like a podcast. You just kind of sit there, you listen, and we just going to go through the flow. So, if you're right. interested in listening to us chat, just keep on watching. Now, I do want to tell you guys what to expect. This may or may not be a series, I'm not really sure, but... The flow of this video and the videos all in the series is going to be the drink of the week. We're going to talk about um, topics, what we're interested in, what caught our eye. Okay. Kind of like an icebreaker. Okay. And then we're going to, if you see me looking over, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> and then we're going to have the conversation, what it's about. And then we're going to have the book of the week, which is what I'm excited about. Like, okay, all right. Because you know me yeah. and my little audio books, and I just be <laughs> Oh, sorry, Mike. Sorry, Mike. I've been dying to talk about what I listen to. Okay. I'll be it's listening to crazy stuff, but go on. Everything I listen to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. No. So girl, how did that go like that? It's this. This one. Oh. Girl, it's giving party vibes. <laughs> yeah. Like, you it's can. dance time. You can. Yeah, so I'm always talking about what I'm listening to and putting people on. Mm -hmm. It's to the point to where the books that I listen to, mm -hmm. I had guys into them. Really? That's how you know it's real spicy. Oh, yeah, I'll be listening to some crazy stuff. I don't think guys would be into oh, those. Oh, really? You yeah. listen to books, too? Yeah. I listen to audiobooks, like, the crazy ones, the sex one, yeah. the intense ones, yeah. like, pretty much, pretty much ghetto. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm into, yeah. though. Because so. you know how everybody know, like, the Zane books. They be like, oh, Zane, Zane, Zane. But I feel like there's better, spicier books I listen to, I've listened to a few Zanes, too, with all of the, the characters, but... I really just go through if 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 YouTube recommend one, I literally just walk, um go go look for it on the audiobook and mm -hmm. just listen to it. Mm -hmm. But it's just it's never a specific one. It's whatever seems like it's popping. Yeah, I'll just go with it. Yeah, see that. Yeah, see, that's what I meant too. But now I have like we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I expressed this, but we're gonna start off with the drink of the week. So we okay. have this drink here, and this is a drink is that I've seen on. Instagram mm -hmm. and it is Malibu rum, okay, regular rum, okay, tequila, <laughs> <laughs> okay, tequila, oh. and then it has uh, lemonade and pineapple juice and okay. grenadine. So that's what mm -hmm. gives the red. Interesting. So let's try it out. We'll Ooh. see what is popping. I feel like every time I follow recipe, it never go as planned. I don't think you're supposed to stir it though. Okay, all right, let's you're just supposed to take it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> let's, let's try the top. What is all at the bottom? Let's start. What did you take in? So I'm, at the bottom, it tastes more of a sweet, like syrupy. Yeah, because you probably got all that yeah. in the end. But then when I taste like the middle, I taste the rum. Well, I yeah, because like yeah, you bit know that rum got the coconut. Mm -hmm. You know what this kind of reminds me though. of? I don't know why. What? And maybe because my mind is left field. It kind of gives me a vibe of. Do <laughs> it. What? If 
if a drink could be a body part, this would be the vagina. Oh, <laughs> I'm done. This reminds me, you know I'm, how you ever had like smells that just like tells you like, okay, it's that body part. Because it's giving pineapple tasty like. Yeah, probably. but it got the, the grenadine. The grenadine. And then, is the grenadine syrup? Like a syrup mm-hmm. thing? Yeah, because I'm tasting that. Yeah. Yeah, the grenadine. It's good though. It's good. I like it. Yeah. Okay, I see. It's, it's refreshing. It is. It, it, the rum is not overpowering the but taste. I can, can tell you get lit. You could? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. It's a sneak up. Yeah. So, this is pretty good, so we can do that. But I want to talk about me going to the Beyonce concert. Okay. Because I feel like I have been recruited. Because if no one knows me, I have never really been a huge fan Mm -hmm. of Beyonce. And that's not to say that I didn't like her. Right. Because I really do. Right. I appreciate her as an artist. I know she is just that bitch. Right. She is. Yeah, I I know that she is. Yeah, yeah. But because of the style of music she sings, Mm -hmm. I never really pay a lot of attention to her. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I'm more into either... Um, reggae, reggae dance up, or yeah. like turn up music. Oh, I feel like I like Beyonce as well, but I wouldn't classify her as like my top artist. But I'll still go and see her. I mean, like I feel like even if you're not a fan, like you'll still pay money just to go and see her because she executes all the time and yeah, she just gives. Yeah. Well, this is actually my first time seeing her. Oh, I've ever. never seen her. Go see her. But yeah. I feel like now that I have seen her, mm-hmm. it's like bitch, where I've been. Like, you've been lost all this time? I've been lost and now I've been found. Wow. Like, <laughs> because yeah. it's like, first of all, she's gorgeous in real mm-hmm. life. Like, she looks the way she looks on camera, but like, right. when you see her and see her in her natural form, yeah. it's like, bitch, be that. Ah! Like, right. Because you, she is naturally like she looks she's like just a fine that bitch. Yeah, she's just that girl. Yeah. And when they say that girl, they really be talking yeah, about her. And, yeah. And, and they've been saying this, but it's like, I, I don't think I've been getting it. Right. It wasn't connected. Yeah. But she sings exactly how she sounds. Like, but like, I think it's also to the album itself. Because okay. I think I like that spicy version of her. It was like, because like the really, Renaissance album. Yeah. Okay. Like the song she's singing, she's, she's really like. I'm number one. Yeah. One of one. Like, it just, the, it, like, yeah, the, the album and the music, you just have to partake. Like, yeah. even if you're not a fan, like, once you hear the music, it's just, it just gives. Yeah. It's, it's just, just, it's constantly just giving. Yeah. yeah. It, it definitely, it, it, it's crazy because they said that the album's been out for like 18 months. Yeah, it's been out a long time. I never heard it. <laughs> I'm like one of those people that haven't even seen the the Lemonade album. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah and, and, and I think it took me like a couple of years after Coachella to even see Coachella. To see Coachella? Like the whole... Oh, Japan. Lord. That's how much I wasn't like into. But also, it's not just her. I'm not like a heavy music person in general. So mm-hmm. it's just like, I don't... When I have silent time, no part of me is like, let me turn on the let music. Let me turn on the music, right. No. Gotcha. Only I, time I like to turn on music is when I'm trying to get hot, spicy, or turn up. I'm done. I be listening to Beyonce on road trips. Like, if, if I'm doing like a solo drive, because mm-hmm. Jason don't be on them Beyonce stuff. So, if I'm doing like a solo drive and I'm driving for a long time, girl, I'm playing everything Beyonce. Mm-hmm. It just puts you in that mood. It gives you that energy, that pulse. You know, it was this yeah. one verse on the one song, and y'all gonna kill me. So, but I don't know. I don't remember. No, I think I do remember the song. It's cozy. Mm. And she, the energy of cozy. Yeah. So, yeah. but she said, and that's all she was. She said um, that line. She's like, paint, paint the world pussy pink or something like oh, that. Oh, really? But you didn't even know Mm-mm. she said that. It was like, well, she's like. Um, Paint the town pussy pink. Oh no. Oh, uh, whatever. And I said, Beyonce? <laughs> <gasps> oh my oh, god. god. But I love even when she performed that, she had a little. Yeah. Yeah, like her little bounce thing. She I said, she I said oh. But if you really pay attention, she be going off. Really? In her music. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah like, like when she sings and the energy that she You think she's saying something sweet, but she could be like she's going telling out. off. Yeah. Like for real. So love that. But anyway, the concert was a whole vibe. I had the first level in the stadium. Um and I wouldn't be no further back. Okay. First of all, 
I was bothered at first how much it cost me to, to go to the concert. Because it was like right. $100. <gasps> and I never would have thought in my life. It would have been, it, it's a lot. That's a lot. But she could take it. Yeah. <laughs> she could <can> have it. <laughs> she can have it. So, oh yeah, God. I would see her again. Her production was amazing. Her outfits was great. Our Tampa crowd was a little... Okay, we did do pretty decent. Okay, first of all, I know Tampanians. Okay, listen. Don't know how to act. Well, that too. But (laughs) y'all want to get on us about this whole mute challenge. But I have literally watched every compilation of every city she went to. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you. I've seen that on YouTube. On on Instagram. On Instagram. Somebody recorded it. And they pretty much put every place that she went. From like Paris, um, England. All the little places. And she was over there a while too. Yeah. But um, compared to a lot of them, don't do do it. Tampa didn't do it. We didn't do that bad. I think Boston won. No. You don't think so? Atlanta. You think Atlanta won? By far. Oh no, I thought that's not. Yeah, I feel like we trickle maybe just for the benefit of the doubt because y'all know what I'm we trickle in like third or four. Like yeah. we wasn't that bad. Like when I had my videos and I did good filming, by the way, we did we didn't do that bad. Well, and we had a second bad. chance. We had two. I, she give she gave y'all two chances. Yeah. Let me hear you scream. Look around, everybody, hold you. Look around, everybody, hold you. Yeah, two okay. chances to in the second time dead silent. But <laughs> you know, it took us a little bit. Because it always always somebody in the back. <laughs> yeah, like shut up. I know. Yeah. I, I feel like Boston won though. You know what was killing me though? Every single one overseas wasn't mm. getting it. At all. At all. <laughs> At all. <laughs> they At didn't get the all. message. Like never. Yeah. You yeah. can see the irritation in her face. Mm-hmm. She's like even her dance was like like I'm giving y'all a chance, right? Like, apparently like, some students yeah. had even flyers that said, "Really, when she say this, dude, dude. go mute." Never, yeah. never understood. Under assignment, not understood. No. <laughs> so that's kind of my excitement, kind of re- rediscovering Beyonce because I'm very much of an old school person, old school soul. So mm-hmm. when I do listen to music, I'm back. I'm back there with Keith Slit. <laughs> and with the same money, same money. That's yeah. where I'm at. Oh, really? I'm back there with Destiny Shop, bitch. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you know, I'm back. So I've been re- reborn. You know, oh, so now I, I, I get it. To, I do periodically. I do be mm-hmm. listening to Beyonce. Um, I gotta be in the vibes. Though. It's not something that I just go in my car and turn on some. It's like when you want to be that yeah. girl that you put on. Yeah. So what do you have going on? Anything interest you? Well, or? as y'all already know, I'm planning this wedding. Oh, oh, I feel like I didn't even properly introduce you before you okay. even say that. So <laughs> this is my friend. I think we've been friends for like almost ten years, probably. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been. A Hold long. on, wait. It had to be at least. I would say, was I married yet, or you just got married? I just got married. Cause, no, when I met you, no, I wasn't married. When I first met you, you were in the process of like getting married. Yeah, because I remember when I first met you, you went to Cancun on your honeymoon. That was when I first knew of you. So it was like right. But there. that was after my marriage, then. So, like right after. Right after. Okay, so like 2016. Yeah. How many years is that? Cause bitch don't know. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, but the other day, what really was like the peak of everything was I received a whole video of my dress, and I felt like that like gave me full realization. Like, yeah, babe. so it's, like, did you get it like made or something? Yeah, so I got the dress made overseas. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm so excited. So this was like the last video of them like showing me the dress. So it's completed. 
Um, basically, yeah. Damn. You want to see the video? Yeah. I do. <laughs> Make sure you turn down the... the, the yeah. It's not going to have any sound. Okay, but I want to see a quick glance. So, okay. And then I'll tell you guys. Like, uh, I'm so excited. Let me turn the video. Let me turn the music down so it doesn't say anything. I'm so wild because I was like... Yeah. Oh, it goes off the sleep? Yeah, so it goes off the shoulder and one sleep. That's going on! I think it just dawned on me. Let me see. That's crazy. Yeah, and then it comes with like a veil. I'm gonna cry. Uh, I am too. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm a baby, low key, high yeah. heat. I'm gonna mm-hmm. cry. I feel like it's gonna be I all, like all around emotional now. thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, I gotta replay it, y'all. <laughs> Don't you cry, uh, yeah, girl. I feel like I'm with so all excited. this process, it 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 felt real because I feel like me and Jason been together for so long that. Um, it, it, it hit like, yeah, you get married. Like, when you it, see this, yeah, when I saw the dress, it's like, okay, yeah, you get married. It's a nice dress. I can't really tell y'all anything about it because <sighs> she ain't married yet, and her right. fans might see this, but I love it. I love it, and I, I'm actually su- well, surprised. Never mind. I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna say because I don't want to get no in in you window. Oh, okay. What it looks like. okay. But yeah, I'm excited for you though. I am too. And then we have fun times coming up. Mm-hmm. We got Bachelorette coming up next weekend. Super excited for that. You know, all the plans and preparation that went into that. So, like, over the top I'm excited. Surprised. Yeah. I am too. Been ready. Stay ready. Are you? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all know? I, I hope am. so. Because, baby. I am. I am ready. Mm-hmm. I am ready. Okay. Physically, mentally, yes. Yeah. Mm. So, like I was saying earlier, give me a history is the reason why I wanted to have you on here today because Mm -hmm. we have a lot that we relate to because we're both married. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're friends. Mm -hmm. And you've been with your man for how long now? For 10 years. Shit. October? October is going to be 10 years, yeah. Since we were like 20, 21. And you're a mom. I know, mom. To a 15 year old, that's a whole teenager, and a five year old. Yes, wow. Mm. Do you think things gonna change when you mm, actually get married? Get married? Mm, I don't think so. Because I feel like we pretty much live that life now, you know? But I, I feel know. like once you actually go through the I do's and everything, I feel like there's something shit. You think something shit? Yeah, because you know, even after with us, I remember the day after the wedding and we were just looking at our stuff mm-hmm. that we got from the wedding and even like because you know we did the guest book oh, yeah. photo signing yeah the thing. photo signing thing and I remember I walked into the living room one day and he uh, the next day and he was just staring at it mm. and he was crying oh really yeah like he was like just like I can't believe like yeah we get married like yeah that. like we got married and it just like makes you feel even more connected mm-hmm. we didn't get married until after like on um, five years mm. so we was already living with each other after one year okay I don't even think it was a full year I honestly think it was like six months yeah I moved in well me and Jason pretty much moved in four months Three, four months after starting. Okay, talking. so it was like the same yeah. thing. So, bitch, we hold. So we, and we <laughs> we've been living together ever since that. Yeah, we've never. There's never been a time where we broke up. There's never been a time where we didn't live together. You got somebody it. told me that I'm not. I should cut, 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 cut sex off. Oh, I thought you said cut your dress. That's what mm-hmm. you did. Cut sex off for like a month. Or a couple weeks before the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking about doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I did that too. Yeah. I think they say peace the divide. I think I, yeah, I think I did a month. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a month. So yeah. starting probably in the next couple of weeks, I'm there's nothing available. Like pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I was like, well, do you think you give top? 
Um. <laughs> you think you will start if you don't? I don't think so. <laughs> so you don't? I do, but not swallow. We don't swallow over here. But I do. But I don't think I'll do that though. But I mean, not the night of your wedding. The night of my wedding, yeah. But I feel like if I'm not giving him the coochie, um, you gonna have to give him it. No, we're gonna talk about it. We, we, <laughs> we're gonna have Wait, to talk no, about fuck me nothing. Nothing. That's what I'm saying. But I feel like I still. I mean, no, no, no. You can do hair. Mm mm. Do you do that? No. Did you just say your mouth and you? Mm mm. Yeah, hand? I, do, I never do my hand. I don't know. It gives me cringy. It 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 makes me feel weird. For real, I've never done it before. Huh? For real, I've never jerked them off before. Huh? That's just me being real with you. I swear. I've never. You I've never asked. Like not. I've I've done it like just casually, but not to the point where he goes. He's pleased. Yeah. Yeah. I've never. For real. Oh, you might. But I get I get top. He gets top, and we have a good time. But why? Like, I don't you know. Like doing that? Yeah. It, I'm, it's not my favorite, but. I do it. it. Do do women really love that? It's not my, it's not an ideal thing for me to do, mm-hmm. but I'll do it just to make you happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a thirty percent chance of getting me top. Okay, so you think that what? You a thirty percent. Yeah, thirty percent. Okay, that's yeah. about where I'm at. Yeah, twenty. Give or take, I gotta be in a good mood. Yeah. Yeah. Drinking. Yeah. I gotta be feeling super nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's totally fine. I don't even feel bad about it. No, I mean, I think it makes more sense for you because with you being Jamaican and yeah. everything like mm-hmm. that, that I feel like you almost get certain passes. Right. Like, bitch, no, you don't. I don't get a pass. <laughs> like, oh you God. know, because it's, it's like. From my understanding, but mm-hmm. like from being Jamaican, they're mm-hmm. more like conservative. Reserved. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like, yeah. tell me about that. Like, well, do you think that plays into why you may not do or like it, talk about sex? Well, back or then, anything like that. Back then, it. It used to be like a negative stigma in Jamaica, so it's like, oh, if you do tops or whatever, people look down on you or they'll they'll categorize you negatively, which doesn't even make sense because like it's a part of intercourse, mm-hmm. like you know. But so, any part of sex? No, just like orals, pretty much. Oh. Vice versa, like women oral, men giving orals or whatever. Because even right now. A guy in Jamaica, if he gives his girl oral, like he'll never be confident enough to like say it, like oh, really? No, he'll be shy about it. He won't talk about it. He'll probably even deny it. Really? Yes. Even the older men? Older men, younger guys, whoever it is. Why is that? I don't know. Jamaican parents they ra- they raise their daughters to be strong, independent people. And, like, you got to be, like, prim and proper. So, do you think, because, because you grew up in Jamaica, Mm -hmm. so, like, do you think that could play into, like, how you take intimacy and things like that now? Definitely, because, like, meeting Jason and, like, you know, being in a relationship with him, like, we... He was raised in Jamaica as well, so he's on the conservative side as well. So, but you're warming up to the idea yeah. of being more open. Yeah, to or liking. Even as adult, it still feels weird, weird. for me yeah. to talk about stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I told him, like, I'm so scared of having the garter on my leg at the wedding because my mom and my dad's going to be there. And I was like, oh, no. We ain't doing We're not doing that. I'm going to do it, but I'm going to turn my chair to the back. Like turn Well turn against them Turn against them Yeah Cause I'm that. like Ooh I feel like the earth Probably opened but you me gotta, up But you gotta You gotta like Okay Do what you want But I feel like If y'all know Y'all like to be spicy Like that's like One day you have to Kind of like 
like block them out like cause you know even in the situation when I had my garter dance so crazy cause he know. did it to uh Juicy by Pit- <laughs> Pretty Pretty <laughs> So, but I literally could see my mom in the corner of my eye, like, Wah! oh god! Like, you know, Girl, my like, mom's probably gonna be sitting like, down. Motiv- no, it's fine. Ah! Mama, we love you, <laughs> but please, like, this is not. She, about she's you. just, she's not gonna have, like, she's not gonna have anything bad to say, but she's just gonna be like, okay. no, but yeah, 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 because yeah, you know, I'm here. Mm-hmm. You are here. You got here from some kind of way. So it's like, it's totally fine. Like So we finally decided that we we're going to do it. He okay. wanted to do it. But just put it lower. Yeah. I said I was going to wear it like right close to my knee, probably like right in the middle right here. Like, you know, you can put yeah. it up, above the knee, please. Don't be below the knee. Now. Above the knee. Okay. A little bit above the knee. Yeah, just like yeah. here so it don't seem like he's giving you top or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. But that's interesting because... Um, when you hear a lot of Jamaican music, it's crazy. Right. So it's like, for the right. fact that, you know, you got spice right. and all this, it's like wild, you right. know? Um, it's total opposite. And so it's like, it's opposite. for them to be so reserved. But then you hear the music, it's like, like cartel, all of them, like, mm-hmm. huh? It's crazy. I do want to just really solidify because you know I feel like when I talk to you mm-hmm. about being spicy or things that into I feel like sometimes you be like oh you wild like, ah, <laughs> you are wild <laughs> and I'm like huh? what you, are you talking about yeah, you are. I'm not wild girl you be out there <laughs> <laughs> you be out there. No, because listen, I, I actually asked her. I was like, yo, um, even before you were getting married, mm-hmm. I asked you, I was like, are you going to do um, lingerie or like toys? That Probably kind of on thing? the honeymoon. That's no, uh, oh, no. Like in general? Yeah, in general. Okay. And then you was like, no, girl. And I was like, huh? You know. So you never just... I'll probably do a matching penny and bra, but not like anything like under it. Like garter. You wouldn't do it? I would, but I've never done it before, so I don't even know. But you need to. But I know, like, at a bachelorette, when y'all bring me all of these crazy stuff, then I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a start using them. What you think you're doing anything crazy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like y'all going to come with some crazy stuff. Who's going to buy you crazy? Me? Probably. Hold on, wait. No, 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 I wasn't saying. <laughs> but I feel like, I don't know, it's just never something. I don't know. I feel like, especially, because at um, her bachelorette party, she's doing also her bridal, bridal, bridal shower. Yeah. So it's going to be fun because you get to mix it in one. Mm-hmm. And it's the best time to get spicy things. Spicy things because, out there. You know, right. I feel like if you do get spicy stuff that... Uh, you gonna be like, what the fuck I'm gonna do? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I can't I'm gonna try them out though. I'm gonna I'm use every single one of them. I, I, I how do, you, do you think there's a lot, of, like, out of everyone who you know that is coming, mm-hmm. do you think there's gonna be like a good deal of them that bring like crazy stuff or? I feel like it's gonna be a mixture. Like a mixed bag? Yeah. Because some of the girls are very, like, probably my niece, because she was raised by my sister, which was raised by my mom. Oh, okay. So she's she's, she's very conservative, so she probably bring me Wait. something of Victoria's Secret. I'm or sorry, like in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry, in advance. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I'm open to see everything, though. I might be surprised. Who knows? Yeah. I might be surprised. Yeah. So, who knows? Yeah. We'll see. So, I know we're supposed to be taking a gulp. So, let's drink. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Mm-hmm. You can see, you can taste the sneakiness. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I didn't taste it off the bat, but now mm-hmm. it's like, I can feel it. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. Very you know good. what's so funny? Because you told me, I don't know how true it was, mm-hmm. but I literally took you to go get your first toy. You did. And I don't know what that says about me, but I feel honored. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you are breaking the virgin 
cycle. I am very honored. And then, so it's crazy. So in Tampa, we have this really big sex shop. Right. That has everything up, down, and above. Uh, and everything. It, and the actual intention wasn't to get her a toy because you mm-hmm. actually were supporting me. Yeah, I was really just coming with you just to look pretty much. Well, not not like that, y'all. Like, she was supporting me because I was there because I was in another wedding. Right. And I was, Oh, yes. That's what was going that's on. That's why we were real. there. That's why we were just there. crazy, y'all. I mean, I could do that my own time. Amazon on you. Right. You know, but I was going there because I was trying to find some stuff for another bachelorette party. Mm-hmm. And then the crazy thing is, this is before you ever told me you get married or not told me you get married, but before you ever asked me or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when um, I was going through some of the things, the little straws and the candy yeah. and stuff, which I did get y'all dick straws though for for bachelor. See um, y'all gonna be so <laughs> <all night. laughs> I'm done. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because my thought process was to get those and mm-hmm. use, like, rum chata shots. Oh, the cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my thought process. So we could do rum ah! chata shots. So you really trying to have a swallow. It. Okay, cool. That's the closest one. <laughs> yeah, because I don't be swallowing. No, ma'am. I mean. No swallowing. Like don't it. even get even it. Even though I know he like back there or whatever, but it's just like it's texture for me. Uh uh-uh, uh, we can't. I can't. It's like flat. You know, like it be splat, mm-hmm. and I don't like the splat. Mm mm. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like. You know of it. what? Yeah, and then you could feel the dry mm-hmm. up and all that. It's it's just be giving a lot. And then it turns into water after a while. No man. Oh yeah. What if he was like this or that? Whew. This or what? This, this is what? Or toss a salad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. If oh, we're not tossing one. salad. We're not. We're not tossing salad, period. But I'll, 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 I'll suck some dick, but. No, no, no. No, no, no. We gotta swallow. Or, no, um, or toss a salad. I'll swallow. Over, uh, over tossing some sound. I'm sorry. I can't. I mean, they both not right. <laughs> <laughs> but even though I've done it, but if we go either or, it's, yeah, I'll swallow. I'll gag though, but I'll swallow. It's bearable. It's not my preference. I don't like it. About this. But, uh, yeah, I'm not tossing salad. Why do you look at me in the eye like that? Like, Shoot me! <laughs> like y'all probably could have a gun to my head and ask you to toss some salad, and I'm not. You just die. Yeah. Like you lose a good love. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, uh-uh, uh. We ain't do. Girl, no <laughs> way. It's crazy because I actually toss salad. Oh my god! <laughs> Quite a few times. Okay. I don't like it. Okay. I don't. I've never tried it, will not try it. I don't know, it's the texture for me though. Mm. You know what I'll be trying to do? I'm about to tell my secret. He gonna be like, Bitch. Why would you do that? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my He's God. gonna see this and be like, oh man. Oh jeez. Um, Cause I try to play it off. And I'll do a little. You was crazy. I'm, I'm so over it. You crazy. You crazy for real. You are crazy for real. Um, so I'll be around and I'll just like pretend it is to get my hair really around. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll probably I'll I'll swallow. I'll I'll swallow. I'll and 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 just not think about it. But I couldn't talk salad. I'm sorry. I feel it. I don't. I still don't know. It's a cause. It's a hard. It's a hard one between both of them for you. Yeah, because you don't, I don't have you don't. to take nothing in. Okay. Okay. Get you. Get like, you. 
it's pretty much you give me. Yeah, yeah. and okay. I don't have to take nothing in. Okay. But the other way, it's like, I got you. You gotta swallow. And then it's not just that. It's like, but then it ends up face and the rub, mm. and you gotta keep it in your mind. Oh, God. oh so. no, 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 no. <laughs> not yeah. all of the extra part I'm talking yeah. about. If we doing it, we just gotta swallow them. Ugh. Move on. But we gonna go ahead and switch gears. Mm hmm and talk about my favorite subject. What? <laughs> what? And this is gonna be the book of the week. Oh, the book of the week. Yes, I'm excited well, about this. I used to listen to the audiobook when I used to be in the office, and I've listened to so many of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like, actually, I wanna pull it up in my... In your audiobook? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm gonna talk about my favorite book or my favorite book of the week but it was like really the one that like converted me like this with my credit card really like I need this whole series oh my god you and, crazy and you can have my money and it's you really crazy. something different about an audible versus reading because mm -hmm. one you can actually immerse yourself into the book. Into the book. It's oh like, bitch, I'm there. I'm there. I'm literally sitting down watching what's going on. Right. That's it's how like, it feels. Yeah, it's like you're in it. Um, and it wasn't until, I don't know what got me into it. I think I started reading again. And then I came across like a sample or something mm -hmm. like that. And I was like, bitch, this voice is like. Sebastian York. Have you ever heard of him? Sebastian. Seb Sebastian York. He's a narrator. No. Oh God. But then the one, the two, the two, <laughs> the two I be listening to. Let me tell you, if I see their name on anything, what's the name? Hit a card. What's right the here. name? Jacoby DM, DM. And who else? And the girl is Wesley Siobhan. I've heard, I've listened to book with Wesley Siobhan. Her yeah. and him and together. Oh, when they do books together. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Just got immersed. I don't I gotta go start it, listening to audiobooks again. You gotta, oh, they have a page on Instagram. I believe it's called Diamond. DM Diamonds? Yes, 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 that's yeah. it. Why are you on here following them? <laughs> <laughs> it's both. <laughs> I'm done. Even if you go through a quick, like, go through a quick. I just wanna hear this. Yeah. This is I this is him. Another way to pleasure her into my memory. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Oh. You hear when you talking like rumbles in your yes. soul? Yeah. It gets it speaks to you yeah. right there. It's, it sticks in my bones. Golly. Look, you just go through it. And for her lips to touch mine, however, I took over. Stripping her of the long sweater covering her one piece. Yeah, I gotta start listening. To yeah, <laughs> I gotta start listening yeah, yeah. to all your books again. Let me tell you, I remember one. when I used to be at work. I used to be at work with this thing in my ears exactly. all day, and then it, I'll be working, and I'll be giggling and shit like that. Mm -hmm. and it's like, how else you think I was getting through audiobooks? That Shoot. was it. I was immersed. And I used I to have back. a playlist for every day. Like, the you know the ones that be lasting eight hours, mm -hmm. nine hours, mm -hmm. 11 hours? And I'll wait until I go to yeah, work. Yeah, I wait until I go to work. I start listening to it. Oh, my God. Girl, so let me tell you about this series. So the series that I want to talk about this week is... All right, y'all. So the camera frame might look a little different. I had to switch cameras. It was yada, yada, yada happening, but we back at it. So now I have told you. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about the Audible the slash Audible. book of mm -hmm. the week. My favorite. I feel like anytime I think of a book where they like, oh, I need a book that's like good, spicy, good mm -hmm. storyline. I always think of the series first. Because if you like a good Zane book, a good spicy book, this is like that time spot. Okay. So the series is called Heavy on the D. Mm -hmm. The different names. So there's actually four books in this series. Okay. So I didn't get the last one because the last book isn't the one that has an audible but i feel like when you listen to an audible 
with the same people each time. Mm-hmm. It's like when you finally read it, you hear it the same place. The MC, yeah. you feel the same freak to you? Yeah, like if it's not the beginning, but if you're like deep in a series, mm-hmm. it's like the same. So let me tell you about the book. So the title of the series of the book is Heavy on the D, but the titles of the book is Stiff, Strip, and Stroke. Okay. And I think, I, I don't remember what the last one, forgive me, but the last one was good because that one had kind of like a four-way relationship thing going on. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was interesting. But let me read what it says that the series is about. Mm-hmm. It says, three friends experiencing life's uncertain changes decided that they need relaxation beyond the usual girls' night out. A friend tells them about The Dan, an upscale male strip club. Mm. They find out that the club is a shell of what really lies beneath. And soon the ladies venturing into their mind and body wildest desires. Mm. So in my experience without giving any spoilers, it's like The Den, it's like there's a woman that owns this upscale luxury male review. But it's almost like giving fantasy room vibes. Okay. So there's like the regular strip club, Mm -hmm. but people who are on this like invite type of special list Mm -hmm. can get access to the den part where they have the fantasy rooms or whatever. It's like very exclusive. Even the you. dancers yeah. wear So only regulars could go in there and stuff like that? Not even regulars. It's just like exclusive. class A people like mm-hmm. because the den is supposed to also be like very secretive. Okay. So like even the men who participate in the den part are like wearing masks. Okay. So, so like you don't even know anybody. what they look like or whatever because it's all about one thing I do like about this book is like the person who owns it is a woman and you can tell like she created the den to please a woman. Mm. The men don't even talk unless mm. you speak to them. Oh really? Or whatever. So it's yeah, like that sounds interesting. it's really like exclusive but it's also really spicy. Okay. So Jacoby DM is always number one. But I think it's Benjamin Charles. Okay. Who narrates and he has equally a deep voice the same way. But it's Wesley Shabon, the narrator. Wesley Shabon. But the author is Stephanie Nicole Norris. Okay. And I swear any of her books is like Stephanie what? Nicole Norris. Okay. Also, if you see the covers of these books. Mm. Baby, it's like I feel like I got Let's a show. Heavy on the D. Oh yeah, this is stiff. What? what? Hold on. <laughs> Let me go back. Let me make it bigger for you. That's stiff. Okay. It's like you know what move he's doing. Mm-hmm. It's like I need all yeah. the energy. He literally looks like he got his hand on the wall. Or yeah, it's like he holding on for it. Yeah. You just oh, backing it, Lord. like backing it. So that's stiff. This is strip. Mm. And that stroke. Oh, this is the other one. My own terms. My own terms. So my own terms, like I said, I read that, is actually about the owner of the dance. Oh. So it kind of go full circle yeah. or whatever. I wanted you to listen to clips of the book that kind of gave some aspects of the energy of the book. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna play those. It's gonna be like a minute. Okay. And then we just react, and I guess we'll just go from there. I don't know if I'm gonna talk about it, but we just go from there. I was alive, yet having an out of body experience as it felt like my spirit elevated, then shook back into me. Put it in my ass. Oh, my eyes bucked as if it was someone else what? who'd ask for the directive. I'm done. <laughs> So done. Now put it in my ass. <laughs> the way she shouted it out, though. Oh my god. That is funny. Even when I read it, and she spit that out, I remember being at work. It was like, the fuck? I didn't see what? that. You know? This is kind of like the synopsis of how we got here in the second clip. Right. So. I wanted to be Kane's friend. 
I wanted to be his lover too. I wanted to know more about him, see his entire face, and suck his tongue and tick. But with those fantasies cruising through my thoughts, I came to realize this was unreasonable. Kane wasn't here to be my friend. He was here simply to satisfy my desires. Not only that, he was here to satisfy the desires of anyone who came to this place of business. Business. She got a sexy voice. Yeah, she do. She do. She do. She do. And she has an amazing man voice too. Oh really? Yeah, she she, she knows voice. how to switch between a man voice to make you not even realize you're listening to a female. Mm, girl, this alcohol creeping up on me. <laughs> I we could literally were... <laughs> feel it creeping up on me. We almost finished, but... And I didn't taste the alcohol. That's crazy. I told you. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> so what do you think about the clips? Oh, girl, it's giving. It's giving. It's giving. It's, it's my type of book, a book that I'll listen to. Yeah. All day. Yeah. So, and then the crazy part is spicy, but it actually has a good story. Like, the craziest spicy part is mainly in the beginning mm-hmm. chapters, maybe yeah. like the first six but it actually built the actual a, story is it? Okay. behind it. So it's not just sex, it's, it's, it's just like sex. But then it makes, when the sex scene comes again, it, it's yeah, better. It's so better. you'll find out. So that's my favorite line in my favorite book. And I, yeah, I really like that series. So if you really into spicy books, check that out. Stephanie Nicole Norris, uh, Heavy on the D series, any one of those books anyone yeah but that's really it that's to my favorite book of the week and that's gonna be all for this episode i, I believe <laughs> i mean you about dead anyway <laughs> she's still on the struggle girl why struggle bus. i don't um, know why i'm on the struggle bus because i ate before i came yeah i, I wanted need something to, to keep the alcohol yeah because you knew it was gonna drink me come on yeah each and every time but I'm feeling it more than I expected. Probably because I, I drank it so fast down. And it, I told you, I tasted it. You was like, eh. It tasted like juice. Yeah, it really and it did. creeps up yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah, it tasted like juice. So like I said, this is gonna be all for this video. I really hope that you enjoy just the conversational aspect mm-hmm. and something different coming to the channel. Like I said before, I don't know if this is gonna be a series or not, but I do enjoy doing this. So most likely I'll be doing more and maybe even a part two mm-hmm. if she want to come back so if you like this style of video please like turn on your post notification guys like that's the only way you're gonna know if i post more videos as well as ones like these if you like the topics if you have any more questions maybe even advice videos if there's mm. anything in advice maybe something we can talk about right. she definitely will be back if i didn't scare her off no girl hopefully you like this and i will see you in the next episode of but first we drink but first we drink that sounds good Bye. <laughs>